Halloween, everyone, and I'm thrilled and also a wizard. That's right, I'm David, dressed up as a wizard, and welcome to our final episode of Weekend at the Lake, presented by Millstone Marina and RV Resort for the entire year. Happy Halloween, folks, my favorite holiday and a great time to be had. And hey, great times are what we're all about. So the coming holidays are a favorite season for me, even if we'll have to celebrate separately. But I'll be back next spring with new life and a lot of ideas. We've looked far enough into the future. Let's focus on the immediate this weekend. We'll explore that right after a word from Millstone Marina and RV Resort. Welcome to the newly renovated Millstone Marina and RV Resort, a lakeside paradise for RVs and boaters alike. Whether you're making waves or listening to them while you relax, Millstone is the place to be. At mile marker seven on the Tranquil West side, featuring infinity pools overlooking the lake and boasting 12 luxurious bathhouses. Apply to reserve a first class boat slip or an RV site at our exclusive Fox Run Terrace. Visit MillstoneMarinas.com to find out more or secure your slice of lakefront paradise. Thanks, Millstone. We've got a few great options to pick for your Halloween night. The 31st may be a Thursday, but that doesn't mean it's out of my jurisdiction. Lost Souls Lair Haunt is still out of its grave and active tonight at 7 at the Lake Breeze Event Center. If you want more party than panic in your All Hallows' Eve, La Roca Club has a great Halloween party for the adult crowd at 7.30. Now, moving into November, the first and second at 6 p.m. is the Camden County Museum's Dinner Theater, a show called Rest Assured. The museum puts on shows like this all the time, so you know they've got it down to a science, and it's a worthy cause to support, you know, those who forget their history and all that. Uh, tickets are $20 for a meal and a show. And we've got a pub crawl. Oh yeah. Oh, that's more like it. On the first and second from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m., for all you night owls, the Bagnell Dam Strip will be home to the Lake of the Ozarks Fall Crawl, presented by the Encore Lakeside Grill and Sky Bar. And I imagine after a few stops, you'll be crawling, all right. Kick it off Friday night at the Encore, and with a pre-crawl event from 1 to 4 p.m. on Saturday at Alley Cats. Bus runs all night because we care about safe, sober driving here. Bus wristbands are just 10 bucks, and your transport is taken care of. Along with the stuff that's gonna put you on the floor crawling, there's going to be live music and drink specials across the event. So if that's your thing, give it a go and have a good time for me. Now we've got more coming up right after a word from Shawnee Bluff Winery, Osage River Popcorn, and Sir Dyke Yamaha. Osage River Popcorn, you may know the name, but have you been to our second location in Lake Ozark? That's right, we have another location, and we now offer Stom European chocolates, gelato, a drive through with specialty coffee, and so much more. And yes, our gourmet popcorn is still popped fresh every single day at Osage River Popcorn, where you come as a stranger and leave as a friend. So stop in and experience Osage River Popcorn and Stom chocolates in Lake Ozark and Osage Beach Outlet Mall. See you soon. Being close to the water makes you more you. It's where the great unknown brings clarity. And letting go is how you really get going. Because only when you're on a Yamaha Wave Runner do you truly discover what you're made of. Visit Serdak Yamaha at Lake of the Ozarks, 50 years strong. Shawnee Bluff Winery, the picture-perfect lakeside oasis. Take in our sweeping views of the Lake of the Ozarks while enjoying our brick oven pizza or killer bistro menu, and of course, wine tastings by the glass or bottle. You'll love our historic building, our outdoor patio, or our incredible tasting barn. And thank Shawnee Bluff Winery for your weddings and small events, or even stay in our lakeside cottages. All this and more at Shawnee Bluff Winery, open seven days a week at 11 a.m. with live music poolside every Friday through Sunday. Thanks as always, guys. And looking into the future of next weekend, the First Baptist Church of Camdenton is hosting the Lake's Festival of the Arts on the 9th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All artists are welcome to come and showcase their work, whether it's, oh boy, we got a list. <clears throat> Musicians, authors, painters, woodworkers, fiber artists, quilters, butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, leather workers, photographers, sculptors, jewelry makers, print makers, graphic designers, fan artists, performers, decorative arts, dance, theater, poets, or filmmakers. Basically, if you make something other than problems, you'll find a place here. <laughs> it's a chance to go out, celebrate the arts, and have a really good time. 
On this week's Community Spotlight Show, Chris has a conversation about Thanksgiving. Catch it here on Lake TV every day at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. This week on Cup of Coffee with Wild Will and Uncle Chris, the guys talk about a great win by CADV and a whole bunch of bull. See it daily at 8 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. on Lake TV. And happy hour with my guy DJ Kyle. We return to the McMiller Farm and we meet an awesome dog. Watch it daily on Lake TV at 6, noon, and 6. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and the fantastic new LOZ app to stay connected with us. And if you have an event you want to discuss here on the show, I have bad news. It's going to be a while. So probably, I don't know, sit on that for a bit or save it in an email draft. I've got to do this for three years now. <laughs> I started at the last fourth of the first season I hosted and have had two years hosting it solo. That's wild. I've never had a job this long. I'm young and I used to move around a lot is all, but you know, I spent less time bartending than I have getting to host my own show and that's nuts. <laughs> that's, that's really nuts. Honestly, I never thought I'd be able to say something like that. <laughs> Now, we're a small operation at Weekend at the Lake, nothing flashy or fancy or heavily produced, so I know I shouldn't brag, it's local TV. I just mean, this is really cool. It's a lot of fun being in the business of fun, essentially, letting people know where to have a good time and you know, getting to be in the industry that I love. So sincerely, thank you all for watching and sticking with me while I get the hang of the whole TV personality thing. <laughs> personality. I barely have one, let alone calling myself one. <laughs> it's just cool getting to come on here and try to entertain you folks. And I have all of this because of you, because of Lake TV, and most of all, because of my fantastic sponsors who believed enough in me to cut me a check so I can afford to feed my cat. Osage River Popcorn, Shawnee Bluff Winery, Serdak Yamaha, you've all been a huge help and a resounding thank you to Millstone Marina and RV Resort, my first presenting sponsor, who were insane enough to actually let me be seen next to their name at all times. That was a bold choice, but I respect it. <laughs> now I've gotten sappy enough. Goodbye, fair travels, and I will see you in some beautiful future weekend at the lake. Happy Halloween. <laughs>